Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before getting to the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make armors for your characters. I'm not a scripter, so I'm not going to show you how to script them all, uh, script it to work. But I'm going to show you the actual making process of making them in Blender and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Before I get into the video, make sure to join my Discord server if you are interested in being a part of the community and stuff like that. People are showing off their creations and they're making some really good stuff. Like this structure here, it looks great. Um, if you guys want to be a part of this community, you know, show off your work or be a, join in the conversations and stuff like that. I'm trying to get the server more active, so if you guys want to join, uh, the link is at the top of the description. And yeah, feel free to join. Now the first thing you want to do when uh, creating armor is import a rig into studio. So to do that you want to go into your plugins tab, build rig, and then block rig. I prefer R15. Uh, depending on what rig you use in your game, make sure you select that rig. So obviously it's going to make it easy to make armor. And then click the rig. Now once you have your rig, you want to, if you want to, you can, you know, remove the, uh, the humanoid and remove the the face and stuff like that I'm not sure it's necessary but once you've done that right click your uh, your model and then click export selection and then export it wherever you want to export it now once you've exported your rig you want to open up blender real quick and then just delete everything in the uh, default scene by just selecting it and then pressing delete and then you want to import your rig so to do that you want to go file import I believe the rig comes out as an OBJ, so click OBJ, find where you saved it. I saved it at my desktop, so double click it, and it, it's going to import it like miles away. So to fix that, you want to kind of select it, click Object Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor, and then Object Set Origin, Geometry to Origin. Now it's going to bring it in here. So now you can kind of move move it up. Um, a lot of people ask me how I kind of move my um, objects in like uh, a certain distance. So like clipped like this. Um, all you have to do is hold control and then it kind of just clips it across. But now you have your actual character here. You can go ahead and start making the armor for him. One thing I would recommend is kind of separating the body parts as it makes it easier to actually work on an individual piece. And then what you can do is kind of uh, like work on the right arm or something or the left arm and then mirror it onto the other side by using a modifier by um, clicking the wrench, add modifier and then add a mirror. But um, basically to do that, to select an object, you, you want to click on it to select it, press tab to go into edit mode and deselect it and then you want to basically hover over uh, one of your objects and then press L. So it's going to start selecting uh, each face. Well, unless you, you can kind of drag it and select it, but bits here are going to be a little bit annoying to select. You press C to kind of bring this little circle out, a selection circle. It's just going to be a little bit of a pain to select them, but I find it easier uh, to make armor when you kind of separated the arm and stuff so yeah if, if you if you feel uh, the need to separate them then go ahead and do it like that I'm not for the purpose of this video but usually personally when I make armor I do do that um, and yeah let's get into making the armor now when making the armor you want to make sure it wraps around the body basically and as you can see each arm is kind of got these edges that go in so it's kind of beveled now to make a like uh, armor that wraps around your actual arm and isn't too like square so you can you can uh, import mesh uh, by clicking add mesh and then cube and now you can bring in a cube and you can place it wherever you want and by the way to go into this uh, view I click uh, X on the X here so it locks me into the X axis and now you kind of want to wrap the uh, the actual cube around the arm by roughly like one one cube space you want to make sure it's uh, even on each side and once you've done that you kind of have a basic cube that wraps around the arm 
and now if you go tab press A to select everything and then control B it will kind of bevel it so you want to get kind of like a decent amount of bevel going on here and now you can go ahead and kind of bring it in so I'm pressing S and then holding shift and then pressing X and Z to scale it down both axes and now you can kind of wrap it around the body obviously it sticks out in the front more so I want to go ahead and bring that in a little bit to make it even and now this is basically how armor is made and then you can go ahead and kind of um, work based on that so you can kind of create the uh, the shoulder pads and all that kind of stuff depending on you know what kind of genre of game you're making and then I can kind of split it like this so essentially the way the way it works is you you grab a cube I click and add mesh and then cube and then you want to wrap it around the body of the character like roughly and then you want to press tab and then A to select all and then control B to bevel and then you kind of bevel it and then you can have your your basis of armor right here it's a uh, very simple but you need to make sure all of it kind of lines up or else it's gonna look strange I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part of the video and just add a few details so it actually looks like uh, uh, armor I'm not gonna really gonna go all out. I'm just gonna do something basic for the video then I'm gonna show you how to um, export it And there you go, this is going to be my really, really basic looking armor. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to export this. Now to export it, um, you can either delete the uh, actual rig here, and then kind of just go file export, or you can kind of select all these objects, and then go file, export, FBX preferably. Um, select wherever you want to save it and then make sure to click uh, empty and then mesh here and then selected objects and then name it whatever you want uh, basic armor and then export it as an FBX and now we can go into studio and import the armor now to import your armor you do the uh, the typical of going into view asset manager click this little button here then find uh, whatever your model is mine's in my desktop it is called uh, basic armor um, I do not click import file as a single mesh each um, different part has to be a different mesh for you to kind of for it to wrap around your character's arm and stuff like that when he's being animated so make sure that all individual meshes and then just click apply and now I'm gonna skip through while waiting for these to import okay once your model is fully imported you wanna go ahead and click the uh, all these objects right here so click on the top one and then hold shift and then click on the bottom one and right click insert with the location and now this should import your um, armor basically now the first things you wanna do obviously is anchor it I'm gonna group it for the time being and then I'm gonna resize it now preferably if you import it with the rig it's gonna be a lot easier to kind of um, work out the sizing but I'm pretty sure there is a way to uh, link them onto these attachments which I'm not really aware of at the moment but um, this your your basics to create an armor basically you can manually kind of you know go on uh, over here and kind of attach it to your character like so 
but you just have to be very uh, precise with you know the placement and all that kind of stuff also a last thing before I end this video there's a way of kind of um, attaching like each the individual piece to a certain aspect of the body so basically if you want to um, you can select this part of the arm let's say you want to attach uh, this bit of the arm onto the left shoulder so what I'll do is click on the attachment here see where it says uh, weld position copy that and then find your mesh here and then you want to copy or you want to paste the weld position there and it attaches it onto the arm perfectly this makes it a lot easier to like attach armors and stuff like that so I highly recommend you guys do that or else your armors are kind of be gonna be like kind of poking out each side and it's just gonna look uneven so yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on and I'll see you in the next one peace